I was concerned about how I would recover, if that makes sense. Um, feeling that poorly for that long, um, and you know, hearing all the horror stories and things, I wondered if anything, it, you know, if it would actually go back to normal. COVID-19 is the single biggest health event that's occurred in our lifetime. There is a great need to understand what is causing the longer term symptoms that many individuals with COVID-19 are experiencing. The sad thing is we know very little about long COVID at the moment, um, and that really underlines the need for new research. This is a new disease, and we really want to understand why some people go on to get these long-term symptoms, while other people have only a short-term problem or, in fact, get no symptoms at all. At my age, I didn't expect to suffer symptoms for more than just a few days. It's quite shocking to me, actually, that three months on, I'm still not really myself. Most people recover completely from COVID infection. Um, some people are left with residual ongoing uh, problems. Headache, tiredness, cough, temperature. Our early findings suggest that people who've had the infection itself suffer greater levels of psychological distress some months after infection, even if they haven't been hospitalised. It's really important that when research is done along COVID, it's not just based on large studies of the adult population. There's been a mistake in the past is to do research on adults and assume that children are just small adults and extrapolate from adult research to children. And so many examples show that that's an unwise thing to do. So we actually want to do the research on children, for children, and we feel really passionate about that. This research is vital because we're dealing with a new disease, a new infection, and we really do not understand what the long-term consequences of that disease are. And what we hope is that our research will provide the biological understanding which will enable us to develop new treatments. I hope our research will help us to understand what causes long COVID and how best to support people who have these long lasting symptoms in order to improve their quality of life. I hope that our research will further our understanding of this terrible condition so that we can offer interventions to enhance recovery.